Hi there. Welcome to this walkthrough of Enable Search by Role property in the Informatica Master Data Management product. As part of this walkthrough, we'll cover what is Enable Search by Role's property. We'll see how to get to this property in the Hub Console. We'll continue with how do we use this property and conclude possible usages of this property. So what is Enable Search by Rules? It's a flag that exists on the match rule set associated with the base object. I'm going to get into the Hub Console and demonstrate how to get to this property. It's on your base object under the schema model. So you have the match merge setup. In the match rule set tab, so you could define multiple rule sets. Each rule set has a property enable search by rules. You could either enable it or disable it. So, what does this property do? So, as the name suggests, if I enable search by rule, I'm letting the system know that I want to search by rules that have been defined as part of the rule set. If I have enable search by rule disabled, I'm letting the system know that it can create a on the fly rule based on the data which is passed in. You need to know that this is used only by service integration framework request. It is not used by the match merge job which is set up from the hub console. Even when you use search match request, it's only when the match type parameter is none. Let me walk through what I have set up here and how to use this property. So I have a base object, be your client. I have four custom columns, first name, last name, age, address. It's part of the match merge setup. I have a match strategy, a fuzzy. I've defined three match columns. My fuzzy match key is person name and I'm passing first name and last name columns from my base object into person name. My fuzzy match column is address part one. I'm passing my address column from my base object. Age is the only exact match column I have. The match rule set. I've defined two very similar rule sets. The first one is search by rule, which has enable search by rules enabled. The second one is do not search by rule, and it has enable search by rules disabled. Both these rule set have one rule that has the resident purpose and hence needs the person name and the address part one match columns. I've defined a query which selects all the columns for my, my base object. I've defined a package based on the query. So let's have a look at the data in the base object. So I 
have run six serves. Mike Smith, Michael Smith, Bill Smith, William Smith, William Little, Will Little. So to demonstrate the search match API, I have so py plugin for Eclipse. So I have a request here. So this is a search match request. I'm querying based on package plan. I've given a match type of none. I want to search for Michael Smith, who lives in 1234 Main Street and age 25. Let's first search for all Mike Smiths. And I want to use the match rule set of search by rule. Remember that this rule set has enabled search by rules enabled. So retrieve zero rows. So remember that search match uses fuzzy match. And my search by rule needs both person name and address path 1. Since I haven't passed an address path 1, it did not find any matching records. So let's pass an address path 1. So now I get to rows. Mike Smith and Michael Smith. Remember that this is fuzzy match. Now let's pass age. It retrieved wonder. Mike Smith age is 25. So how did the, the search and age work? Even though I don't have any exact match column on age. So when I have enable search by rules enabled and my incoming search match request as an exact match column. So on the fly the exact match column is added. So to validate this, we look at the client server log. We see that we have an exact match column and a fuzzy match based on resident purpose. Now the second test request, very similar. I'm passing a rule set. So when I don't pass a rule set, it's going to use the default rule set. In this case, do not search by rule, which has enabled search by rules disabled. So let's first search. William Smith at 1234 Main Street. I found two rows. Mike Smith at 1234 Main Street. And Michael Smith at 12345. Main Street. So how did this happen? I'm searching for William Smith at 1234. So that's because 
this has enabled search by roles disabled so on the fly a rule has been created which uses the fields purpose so when you use the fields purpose all fields or all match columns and equal weightage so if person name matches we get a match even if address part one matches we get a match so this demonstration is for enable search by rules now to conclude where do we use enable search by rule so IDD uses the search match API in two places one the extended search and two when we do a potential match when we are saving a subject area record so when you're doing an extended search if you want let's say for example an exact column to be searched for but you want the search only if the user provides data not otherwise in that case to reduce the number of rules you could have enable search by rules enabled in this case, if an exact match column is provided, the exact match filter is applied. In the second instance, let's say for example, you want a general purpose search, where you want to search for all fields without any purpose. In that case, you could have enable search by rules disabled. And then, so the system will create a rule on the fly with the field's purpose. So this concludes this walkthrough of enable search by rule property. Thank you.